There's a new technology on the block right now, and that is easy virtual networking. What it does is it takes the concept of VRFs. Now, VRFs play a role in things like VRF Lite, um, and th that's all great. But what if we wanted to take advantage of the separation behavior that we would get with VRFs, but we utilize 802.1Q trunks between our layer three infrastructure devices so that we can do something very powerful. And that is have a subnet that crosses routers, that crosses layer three. You know, we have, when we talk about VLANs, we, we teach you about end-to-end -end VLANs and local VLANs. Local VLANs are what we do, end-to-end -end VLANs are what we don't do, essentially. Well, what if we wanted to do end-to-end -end VLANs in a modern infrastructure? We can do it. We can bridge a VLAN through this infrastructure. So you could have like clustered servers that are that are physically separated, and you might need to do that. I don't want to do it, but you could. Or you could have a collection of users that are that need to be in a common subnet that are that are far apart from each other. Here's how you do it. Well, at the high level, you use easy virtual networking. Trunks, yeah, it's using 802.1Q actually to differentiate a different VRF. Okay, easy virtual networking is VRFs defined by 802.1Q tags. We have our edge ports, which are kind of the ingress into the EVN network. The EVN network is a collection of these yellow links that we can see here. Very interesting stuff. Here is a deeper look, but still conceptual, for this. Deeper look. So we have our EVN trunks. They need to support 802.1Q, so needs to be something like Ethernet. The traffic sent across the trunk will identify the virtual routing and forwarding information, which is a set of like a, like a routing plane. You can see here we have routers within routers here. The edge ports are the boundary. Traffic that comes in is then married to one of these VRFs. We preserve that, mark that as it goes through the 802.1Q tag as it goes through the trunk gets read on ingress on the other side. That information tells us what VRF to put it back into. And then we forward it out to the correct link that's local and away we go. Easy virtual networking. Is it easy? Well, I think that remains to be seen, but it is a technology that is very powerful but very situational.